Here's an interesting question that came on our apps recently. Let me share it with you. I'm, cu I'm curious as to where souls go upon death. Believers who have accepted Christ prior to death are with Christ in spirit, as they will not have their new incorruptible bodies until after Christ's return. Well, in actual fact, we, we don't have as much information uh, on what happens immediately a person dies uh, as we possibly, possibly would like to have. And perhaps the reason for that is this. Once we die, we step into eternity. And in eternity, time is irrelevant. We think in terms of time because that's the environment into which we were born, the environment in which we've lived our lives. We have no experience of eternity. So in time, we think this will happen, and then this will happen, and then that will happen, and after that, that will happen. In eternity, there isn't such a thing as this will happen, and then that, and then that, and then that. It is all eternal. It's something we don't understand. And so that is why we don't have much information that we can grasp. But there are a couple of things I'd like to uh, mention to you. In the book of Ecclesiastes, there's a fascinating statement where it's talking about when people die. And it says two things. It says that when we die, the body returns to the dust, but the spirit returns to God who gave it. That's, that's very, very interesting. Now, we all know what it means that the body returns to dust, and we all know that that is absolutely accurate. So why don't we accept the fact that at the same time, the spirit returns to God who gave it? So part of the answer is this, what happens when you die? The answer is your spirit returns into the presence of God. Now, Paul gave us a little more information on this in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And he talks about being at home in the body, but he says if we're at home with the body, we're away from the Lord. And he said, we'd rather be, uh, we, we, we'd rather uh, be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So this is, this is sort of building on what we read in Ecclesiastes. The body returns to the dust, but the spirit returns to God who gave it. Paul says, uh, well, what happens when we die is we are away from the body and at, at home with the Lord. All right, but we've stepped into eternity now where matters of measurement of time are fundamentally irrelevant. So what do we do with all this? We we'll we'll lay hold on this, that when we die, our spirit returns to God who gave it, and we're away from the body, and we are present with the Lord. Now, the Apostle Paul puts all that into a proper, proper perspective, and he says this, So we make it our goal to please him, whether we are at home in the body or away from it. In other words, what he's saying is this, the important thing is not whether we are alive in here or whether we're in the presence of the Lord, and we, we don't have information as to what being in the presence of the Lord means immediately after we die, but that's not important. What really matters is this, wherever we are, we have one goal in mind, and that is to please the Lord.